Hi, welcome back to another video of Discord.js. Today I'm going to cover across um, custom commands. So the commands that we are going to cover today is um, the add custom command, delete custom command, and also the list of custom commands. So we'll be doing this with MongoDB, um, Mongoose. So can just create a schema, we're going to create a schema. Just go to models. If you don't have this folder, just create one. Just click on uh, this and create a folder. You can name it anything, I'm just going to name it models. And I'm going to create a schema called customcommands.js. In this schema, we're going to require mongoose first. Mongoose equals require mongoose. Um, and then we're going to define the schema. So let's just export it module the exports. And then um, mongoose.model. And then here I'm going to call it um, custom commands, comma. And then new mongoose the schema okay so we're gonna use guild for a guild ID so it's gonna be a string command will be a string and also the response will also be a string so this is the schema right here so it should be good to go okay so let's just create a folder in commands you can put it in any folder you want. I'm just going to create one more. So it's easy for me to find the commands. I'm going to name this um, custom, custom commands. And then in here, I'm going to make a, full, a file called create.js. Um, and then delete.js and also list.js to list out all the um, custom commands. Okay, so first, let's do create.js. First, we're going to require the schema as a const schema equals require dot slash dot slash index. Um, I mean, models slash basically, you want to go to the schema file. So, mine is this path. All right, after this, um, we're going to do module exports name will be cc create so cre cc i'll mean this uh what i mean by cc is cu uh, custom commands you can name this name anything you want um this is the best i can come up with so run asynchronous client message and arcs so the first thing we want to do is we want to check the permissions whether the member has administrator permissions. Yeah. So if message the member that has permission administrator return message channel send you do not have permissions have permissions to use this command. All right, so after the person has permissions, okay, we're gonna define two things. One is the command name and the other one is the command response. So const command name equals to, uh, let me just do name, okay. Const name is equals to arc zero and const um, response equals to arc dot slice one dot join and then you're gonna put the spring so we join all the spaces together okay so we have defined two of the variables so if there's no name we're gonna return message dot channel dot send um please specify a command name and we're gonna do the same thing with um response so change name to response please specify a response all right 
So next, we're going to find for data, cons data, because await schema. So find one. Guild message dot guild the ID and then the other one will be command command name uh, I mean what I'm even writing is gonna be name you're gonna check for uh, the guild and the name okay so if there is data if there is data uh, return message dot channel the send this custom command exists already now if there's no data we're gonna create a new data so const new data equals a um, new schema guild will be message dot guild the id Okay, um, command will be name response will be um, this should be caps because over here it's caps, so I need to make these caps. Response it will be response, response, all right. So we need to save the data, so await new data dot save message dot channel the send template strings saved um name we're gonna make this bold so it looks a bit better you can make this with embeds I already made a tutorial on that as a custom command okay so basically this is already done for the create command Next, we're going to do delete command. So just copy this and we're going to edit some of the code. Change create to delete. Delete. Okay. Command name. So we can just remove const response because we're not going to need a response. And then we're just going to remove the response also. Okay, schema is all good. All right. So in here. We're gonna define data, so we seem to define one. Um, okay, so we're gonna change this. Um, okay, we're gonna check if there is custom commands first. Let me see. Um, okay, so in here, let me just delete all these. So it's finding data. So if there's no data, you're gonna return message dot channel send that data does uh, I mean that custom command does not exist. Okay, so when it exists, um we're gonna delete the command so await schema. find one and delete and then we're gonna put the parameters guild will be message no guild no id and the command will be name okay perfect the message dot channel dot send um removed name I'm gonna make it bold again so it looks a little bit better from custom commands uh, custom commands yeah okay so it's like pretty easy so next we're gonna do list.js um this will be a little bit complicated because we're gonna map data but it should be fine so we're gonna once again we're gonna require the schema again const schema because require those uh, slash models and then custom commands okay perfect and then const message embed because require 
discord.js okay module exports name will be um cc list run async client message and args okay const data it goes away schema the find one um let me i think it should be fine because we are finding all the schema that have matching info so message .guild id so if data equals to false so basically uh, when you do two exclamation marks it returns a boolean so if there's no data return message dot channel dot send there is no custom commands all right so when there's data we're gonna send a message embed message dot channel dot send new um we're gonna make a space message embed and we're gonna make a color um let me just make it blue all right then um we're gonna set description okay and then you're gonna space data dot map and then command and then index and then um return actually I don't need this actually um you don't need to return and then you just don't put this brackets okay and then you're gonna put a string so this is basically what is the index um uh, what's the number of the custom command so basically index starts with zero so you're gonna plus one so it starts with one okay then we're gonna do um let me just do this or you can do like like that um columns and then we're gonna do command dot command and then we're gonna join with um enters spaces all right so yeah this should be it for three of these commands so this three of these commands now we're gonna write the event okay so we're gonna go to events folder and then go to message.js if you don't have an event handler i highly suggest you to get one it, i already made a tutorial on it it takes like four minutes to set up if you don't want to use an event handler feel free to use it in index.js like any normal user will use it as so yeah so we're gonna make a little change so first we also need to uh, require the schema so con schema just require dot dot slash models custom commands so um we're gonna find okay so after this a command line equals zero so if there's no um, command, then we're going to return. So after this, then we're going to define data. Const data equals to await schema. Dot find one. Guild. The message dot guild the ID. And then. Um, command. Will be command. Okay, so this basically finds the data. Oops, what happened? Alright, so if there's no data, I mean if there is data, and then we're gonna send back a message. So, message.channel.send. You can make this an embed once again. Okay. Um, you make this embed is very simple so this should be everything working 
Um, so if there is data, we're gonna send the response. So let's try to boot this up. No thought. Okay. So in today's video, we're gonna make a few custom commands. First, it will be um help, and then it's gonna send back help um please wait for moderator so this is going to be our custom command and let me just make another custom command um let me see um butterfly butterfly and then is the bot will say butter plus fly and haha all right so let's create our first first custom command all you need to do is just run your prefix then cc create or any command name if you have changed it cc.create and then first i'll try to show you this and then you say please specify a command name so you need to specify a command name and its response so see cc.create help and then please wait for a moderator so i'm just gonna copy this and put it in here why oh, cc create saved help as a custom command so oh do i have help as a command let me just see oh okay i don't have the command so if you do why help it should send back please wait for a moderator let us see please wait for a moderator as you can see here then um we're gonna add butterfly also so why cc no create butterfly butterfly and then i'm just gonna copy the response message and then just say say butterfly is custom command so when i do y butterfly butterfly plus haha so okay to view the command list we're gonna do y cc the cc dash list so um Oh, this is because I have um before I did this video I did a dem uh testing. So I have this command. Let me just remove all and I can show you again. Um CC remove hello. I'm just gonna copy this so I think it'll be faster. And then test. Um what um oh it's delete. Why CC delete hello and just go and copy this and then test and then help and then butterfly I can't spell okay so if, if, I, if, I, if I delete a non-existent command it's gonna look you tell that the command doesn't exist okay that's just a demonstration I'm just gonna delete butterfly right now butterfly and then there should be no custom commands because I already deleted all of the commands so when I run ycc list it should say there is no okay so there's no commands then when I add cc dot um, create youtube Okay. Oh, I forgot to add a response. CC to create YouTube subscribe to recon. So if you do it, custom command. So when someone's run, someone runs YouTube, it will say subscribe to recon. All right. So then we wrap up today's episode about custom commands. If you have any errors, feel free to join the support server. Um, we also vote, um, do daily votings on which commands that we're, I'm going to make videos on. Other than that, have a nice day. See you again on the next video. Bye.